Welcome to our second episode of Max GXL TV. I'm Steve Scott, and Sean King couldn't join me today because she's in Nashville recording her latest CD. But I'm so excited about this show. We just finished our national convention where we had a chance to interview a number of our Max associates. We'll be sharing some of those interviews in our next few episodes. In this episode, you'll meet Ron Brand, a scout with the New York Yankees. And since Max GXL changed his life, he's been off the charts excited to introduce it to professional athletes. You'll also meet a three-time Olympian who today is a professor of exercise science and a coach of elite athletes. You'll meet a former Air Force major whose medical practice created a personal quest to find a way to raise his own glutathione levels and ultimately led him to max. You'll also meet a couple whose job loss turned out to be one of the greatest blessings their life has ever experienced. But first, I want to introduce you to a man who has inspired and motivated hundreds of millions of people around the world. He's one of the best-selling authors of all times. His name is Mark Victor Hansen, and he's authored over 200 books. And his series, Chicken Soup for the Soul, has sold over 150 million copies. But Mark, like so many of us, has had his life transformed by Max GXL. In fact, he said he now feels 30 years younger. And he now goes all over the world telling large audiences about Max. In fact, he's become one of our independent Max associates. He recently invited me to speak at one of his mega book conferences. I not only picked up his wonderful new book, Cash in a Flash, Fast Money and Slow Times, but I had a chance to interview Mark for Max GXL TV. Here's part one of that interview. Oh, I'm thank so you, excited to, to be with you, Mark. This is really the first time you and I have ever synchronized in time and space, so I'm as equally excited. Oh, well, thank you. And the obvious question, you know, I, I, I had somebody tell me, well, Mark's actually been in other network marketing companies and really done well. Tell me what you love about network marketing. Well, I've been in three. Okay. I went to number one recruiter, enroller, um, leader, and, and each one of them, all of them were good to me. All of them taught me different things. Mm -hmm. I, I, network marketing, if it's got good leadership, if it's got good management, if it's got extraordinary products, the richest good. man in the world right. started with $100, done really well. I'm a stockholder in his company. A share of stock costs 132000 for one share. Wow. So I just was at the shareholder meeting in Omaha, and I can tell you that uh, he now owns four network marketing companies. And what happens is, so if you've got the richest man in America buying network marketing companies, if you've got General Electric in the business, if you've got all these superb companies doing network marketing, then network marketing no longer is under the table, under the rug, under the carpet. It's now up above and doing better than ever. And, and right now, we're in the worst economics ever. We get the four financial pillars in America out of business right now. Therefore, they've got to go somewhere. And what I told you is let's employ a million people as fast as we can in the most extraordinary way that we can because the markets have changed. And, and just because some people don't know how it happened is that you had dot coms take the market up to you know $7 trillion and they became dot bombs. All that right. money had to go somewhere, went into real estate, took it to $15 trillion. But every, every, there's a sigmoid curve. That means it starts low, goes up, accelerates, flattens out, and goes down, unless you've got new products, like we're creating new products. Same principle here. You've got to have the next product, and everybody who comes in with a new product, every time you come up with a new product that's a grand slam home run like you have been, takes the market to a brand new place. Different than business of, of I own General Motors, and you work for me, and you are going to get to put on nuts for $100 an hour. And you go, wait a second, that has no reality. Whereas if you hire all these people and get them in and recruit them and train them and develop them, because you've created real value that because you've been a visionary leader, and you and I are both Salamic scholars, meaning scholars of Solomon, and we can argue about what Solomon's most important line is, but one of them is, without vision people perish translate that then to this business with vision we flourish absolutely vision is the basis of real life and not what, just surviving and existing but when you gain a vision for something you become alive from the very every cell in your body gains that life when you have a true vision and that's what i love about max i think everybody can enroll and with max it's easy because i learned from dan kennison such a great line is just take it and tell and I said, look, because i got to rewrite every line that I ever hear if it's a good line. I think it's take, tell, and your wallet will swell. Wow. Isn't that good? So this isn't like a little mission. This is like a major mission. We're going to create a mass 
movement with a brand that commands, and I think you put the right name on it called Max, yep. because you said to me the first time we talked on the phone that Max means? I Max, can't remember what I said. said. <laughs> <laughs> I you talked said, to so many people. Hey, you said, because it'll maximize yourself, yeah. maximize your life, and I said, I divine success as a fulfillment of potential in all seven areas of your life. And that's maximum. You ought to be fulfilled spiritually, which is yep. what Solomon was saying. You ought to be fulfilled mentally, because you and I both write books and love doing it. And, and, and we know that a book is part of the legacy, which we're gonna talk about here in a minute. We know that it, it fulfills, you know, Max does this physically. So it's spiritual, mental, physical, financial, social, and emotional. And what happens is we're gonna build a Max community, but the Max community isn't just gonna be here. You and I have spoken on, tel on the telephone, at least, and said, look, we're gonna wrap this thing around the planet, and we'll cause fundamental abundance. Mm -hmm. and, and you and I think that we have a reason for being here, and you gotta have good nutrition to do all that. Absolutely. You and I are both involved in a lot of projects on any given moment in life. That's right, this is why I taught in my book, One Minute Millionaire, you gotta have multiple sources of income. If you only have one income, it's called a JLB. That's why you gotta have one of your ways to have a real MBA. You and I are talking about mm -hmm. silly MBAs, but we're talking about a millionaire's bank account, which is what you're gonna to need to operate and go forward inflating economy and appreciating economy, yep. as far as I'm concerned, is you gotta have a network marketing company that is rocking and rolling and, and uh, has got jet fuel of desire and that you feel good about and that you wanna share automatically yep. and axiomatically with everyone you talk to. See, that's what I love. We can turn anybody into entrepreneurs even if they've been brainwashed to think, no, entrepreneurs are Ted Turners out there and Donald Trumps and I'm not like them. No, anybody that has something that brings value to another person's life and becomes a believer in the value they're giving can become a very successful entrepreneur. As I define enlightenment as something that creates abundance, mm -hmm. and John 10.10 10 says, I've come that you might have life and have more abundantly. The Upanishads, the oldest literature on the planet, says out of abundance, he or she took abundance and still abundance remains. Abundance mm. is like the breath, there's only breath. So yeah. fundamental abundance is the give me. Nature yeah. only knows how to be lavish. God only knows how to give. The sun only knows how to shine. The sun, breath, you only know how to breathe. If right. you stop breathing, you're dead. Right, right? yeah. <laughs> you know? And then number two is that where do you create massive value for other people? Because you create a little value, you deserve a little. Right. Right, the big guy said, go the extra mile. The first mile doesn't even count. Right. You work eight hours a day, good for yeah. you, boo boo. We'll keep yeah. you employed, but you're gonna have minimum wage. There you go. Right, you go the extra mile. You study a little bit more. Yeah. And, and Diligence. Yeah, you know, the other thing we're gonna do with Max, you and I, is, is that we're gonna train people to grow to their full, back to what I said, yep. success is manifesting your full potential in every area of your life, not just your wallet. You don't want a wallet no. that's so big you fall off of it. That's not what it's about, it's about, how much, can, you know, Christ said the greatest amongst you is servant of all. Yep. So the question is, Absolutely. how many can we serve, not how many can we not serve, yep. which is the whole problem of all the, the reason we're in the do right now is because people on Wall Street were cheating and robbing and yep. stealing, and it was backed up by, you just came from Washington, D.C. yesterday, so I know. <laughs> there's plenty of blame to go around, but let's forget the blame. Let's say, I've got seven ways to get the economy going, and Max is one of them, because you and I can get a million people, we got the product, we got the systems, we got the telephone training, we got the video training. Everybody needs what we got, and for the first time, we're gonna be able to handle it slowly. We're not doing right. We're not doing the whole world at once, we're doing it a little bit of time, but it's gonna be more exciting, and, and what people really want, and why they're watching is, is they say, what can I get viscerally excited about? What is it that I can be passionately on purpose about? What is it that I can be, use my full creativity in this so that I have money freedom, time freedom, relationship freedom, spiritual freedom, and then you go to creative freedom, which is, why you and I write books on airplanes primarily, because everyone mm -hmm. says, well, you don't do anything else, right? You've written, I've written 287 books. Wow. No, no, I, I've done a lot of other stuff, but you know, because there's a lot to do. There is. And, it's an, and people say, why don't you retire? I said, to what? I hang out with the people I want, I'm doing what I want, I'm having a good time, and, and I think you and I are here for service. I don't think we're here for non-service. No. The bottom line is, hell is not being able to do something, not being able yeah. to serve not being able to contribute, not being able to manifest your full, lively potential. Amen, amen. She will let you in here. <laughs> uh, wow, no, you, you know what, I could listen to you for hours. Well, that's, that's exactly what I want them to do. They, wow, can you see why I love Mark Victor Hansen? Does he have energy or what? He almost made me seem lifeless. And, uh, but as good as that one is, just wait till the next episode of Max GXL TV because part two of that interview is unbelievable.